Some art is recognizable and seemingly easy to comprehend. Some art challenges us a bit more. In either case, when we truly analyze a work of art, we discover aspects which can give us a depth of appreciation that may not be apparent at first glance. Learning how to effectively analyze artwork can add to our understanding of it and is something we are often asked to do in art class. The Artomatic 3.0 is a graphic organizer that can help you annotate and analyze works of art thoroughly. With a new user interface, some additional guiding questions, and embedded links to supporting materials, the 3.0 version is the latest upgrade of the Artomatic. The Artomatic uses a free online program called Draw.io. You'll be doing your work in the cloud, so you can work on many types of devices, and you can even collaborate with friends. There is even a desktop extension for Google Chrome which will let you work on your automatics offline. You can save your work to many different platforms. The Artomatic is based on the FTC palette developed by Dr. Renee Sandell. FTC stands for Form, Theme, and Context, and it is a powerful way to decode and annotate visual art. The Artomatic also contains guiding questions to help you synthesize your visual annotations into a true analysis of the artwork you are examining. The new feature is a bank of links to helpful sites which you can access right from the template. Piloted at the International School of Beijing for use in its IB visual art course, Artomatic is now used by many art teachers and students around the globe. The first thing you will need to do is go to this web page. Click on the Artomatic logo in the middle of the page to download a zip file with the Artomatic template. Make sure you open a zip file to access the template. Next, open your browser and go to the JAW.io website. It will look like this. When it prompts you, create a new diagram. I'm going to analyze a Matisse painting, so I'll call my file Matisse. On the left is a panel which has some shapes, but I won't really need these items in the panel so I can make my working space a bit larger by closing it. Then go to the file menu and import your automatic 3.0 template. At the top of the template you will see nodes for doing your annotation. Annotations are ways to identify visual elements, thematic concerns, and contextual connections. There are different ones for form, theme, and context. There are notepads for you to write your notes. There are links to helpful sites and a place to store your bibliographic information. On the left are some questions to help guide you to synthesize your annotations into a convincing analysis. Let's get started by inserting an image. I can find the image from the web or from my hard drive. The program puts the image at the bottom, so I just drag it to my workspace and resize it. I can delete the placeholder text. Make sure to put your image to the back, as this will allow you to place annotation nodes on top of it. Now I can begin to select the nodes that apply to my artwork. You don't have to pick all of them. Since I'm going to write about Matisse's use of color, my annotation should focus on that. If I need another node, I can simply right-click on it and duplicate it. If I need to change its orientation, I can do that too. Next, I'll grab a note card to make some notes. Just click on the card and start typing. The text will automatically wrap around the card. resize the card and connect the note card to my node by dragging the blue arrow from the card to the node. Once I have completed my annotations, I want to save them in case I want to use them in another program or print them. Since I want the annotations and not the whole diagram, I can drag over the annotations to save them only. There are other options for saving, but if I save my annotations as a PNG or JPEG file, I can use it as an image later. My annotations are finished, so I want to start my analysis. I use the blue note cards for this, just to keep them separate from my annotation. The questions on the left side will guide me when I'm synthesizing the annotations with additional research I have done on Matisse. 
Notice there's a place to store my bibliographic information on the bottom right. Again, choose only the guiding questions that are germane to your main argument. Since I finished my writing, I want to make my automatic a bit more visually appealing. Since there is limited space here, I'll select all my elements and drag them down below. Don't worry, the workspace expands automatically, although depending on how much info you have, it may take a few seconds. If you want to change the formatting of your automatic, you can access the tool panel by clicking on the icon at the top right. You can change colors, fonts, and other things here. elements to make my final product look more visually appealing. After saving my image, I can use it in other programs like a word processor, a PDF, or PowerPoint. I can use my Artomatic as part of a presentation, a paper, the IB's comparative study. As you can see by these student examples, Artomatic allows you to format your research and analysis in a wide variety of ways. The ISB Art History Channel on YouTube has two videos, Discovering Art and Discovering More About Art, that will give you more information about the FTC approach and ways to analyze art. On the Artomatic webpage, there are free downloadable lessons your teacher can use to introduce the FTC concepts. Armed with these tools, your understanding of art and ability to write about it effectively will undoubtedly grow. <laughs>